I'm Mr. Mabaringa, a mom of four. On this channel, I talk about faith, cooking, lifestyle, go places and stuff like that. So guys, feel free to you know, check out my content. I'm very much sure you will like what I do. And don't forget to subscribe, turn up the notification bell for more content. I'm Summer once again. I reside in the Newcastle Open Time. UK. So guys, what I'm going to be telling us about today is grace. Grace is undiluted. Yes, grace speaks for itself. So grace is not a amount of money you might think you have. Grace is not about the professionalism you've been able to acquire. Grace is not about the things you can do with your physical strength. I'm talking about the presence of God inside of you. At a particular time whereby you think you cannot do something. At a particular time where your strength fails you. At a particular time that your strength cannot move anymore, cannot even go further, that is when the Holy Spirit, you know, make use of grace. That is when grace starts speaking inside of you. So your level of understanding and the presence of God and accepting the Holy Spirit to walk through you, to, to help you walk by faith and not by sight, is a grace I'm talking about to you. So let your grace speak for you. Grace is on diluted. You can't fake it. That's why when people come to testify what God has done for them, we see them cry emotionally. Because if not for God, if not for grace, you know, what I've been through in my own life. I, I just can't understand how I'm able to like overcome certain things. But each time I look at how I've been able to overcome certain giants, I see that it's not my strength. <laughs> I see it's not something I could do on my own. I see it wasn't something I would be dressed up for. I see it wasn't something that my intellect could help me. I see that it's not the thing that my personality would have taken me a bit further than that. I didn't see, <laughs> I didn't see myself helping myself out of it. But rather I started seeing the presence of the Holy Spirit in that. And accepting the presence of the Holy Spirit comes down. Every trials comes down, every eyebrows comes down, every hand comes down, every obstacles. So the level of your accepting the Holy Spirit makes you to know God more and makes grace speak for you. I'm a single mom of four. I raise my kids all by myself. I'm not talking about grown-up kids this time. I'm talking about when I had them four under five. So my first child was three years, my second was one, and then the twins were newborn. I had no one to even come and help me. I was on stitches because I had a dressing section. But if I tell you today, when I look back, I'm like, God, I don't know how you've done this for me. I don't think I would have been able, I wasn't ready for those kind of stress. You might think, oh, but you did it too. Did you, do you want to know how I did it too? Whatever it is, these are something that I didn't really want to get myself involved, but certain issues led to it. And finding myself out of it was a big, big challenge. I would have still sat down there thinking it would get better. But grace found me when I was ready to understand, to accept Christ, and for grace to speak. You see, a lot of people would have been you know, better off to where they are today. But they think because they can speak friendly, they think because of their profession, they think because of their money, they are cool, they are fine. You know, but when you begin to come outside of those you know, boundaries, of those four corners, of those comfort zones, you begin to see grace speak for you. Yes, your grace has to speak for you at some point in life. That is if you accept the Holy Spirit. That is if you understand it. That is if you are willing to listen to the voice of God. At first, I didn't listen because I was so like, how can I? At first, I was even to I, I pray, yes, but I, I wasn't taking it in. But when it was time for me to literally take it in, I began to understand the level and the velocity of the presence of God. Because some of I really would have been here today, if not because I break those chains. 
So people of God, when you're breaking those chains and obstacles because you have grace that is speaking for you ahead. It's because the grace that is speaking ahead of you is from God Almighty. And nothing can stop it. So that's why when you testify to the glory of God, I'm testifying to the glory of God because grace will come. So people of God, when presence of the Holy Spirit in everything you do is much, much needed. It's much, much needed. Don't slack out. Keep praying. Keep wanting him more and he will surely see it. Guys, so this is it. This is it. Grace. Let your grace speak for you. You don't have to do too much. Before everything, you know, before God starts using you, God can use anybody. He can move mountains. So let your voice speak for you. You don't have to tell me from this to that before I see the good thing that you're, you're capable of doing. But a single thing that God can use to use it to bless people can cause a little joy, can bring a new dawn, can bring a new life into someone. And that is the grace I'm talking about. Let your grace speak for you. It's very important. Yeah. So guys, I believe you've been able to catch one thing or the other from what I've just said. And then, um, if you're new on this channel, like I said, feel free to, you know, share the video, subscribe, turn up your notification bell for more updates. Until I come your way next time. But so Maria. Okay, guys, let me sing one song to you lots. So lovely, it's we found good girl. I'm gonna sing one song to everyone of us all, and I hope we enjoy it and find Christ at the center of it all. So no matter what it is, I want you all to find Christ at the center of it and let your grace speak for you. No matter how, no matter how rocky it may be, find Christ at the center of it all. Okay, guys, let me sing this song and I hope you get blessed by it. At the center of it all, see that I see. Till that I see there is power in your name. Miracles happen in your name. At the center of the Lord, center of the Lord, seal that I see. Lord, I seal I have a see. Ciao, 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 ci sgrazio.